What's up, everyone? And welcome to Project X Talk. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at Brigadine, the Legend of Runercia. Runercia? Um, we were provided a code for coverage for this game, so thank you to the developers. Um, I'm going to turn down the audio a little bit just for the stream. Um, let me know if it's too loud. Um, but. This is on Steam. This is I, I have started a, uh, a, a initial playthrough, so uh, I'm just gonna load that up and we'll go from here. We'll go from here. Um, I, I basically turned the game on and chose what character, what house I wanted to be the other day. I didn't really do anything besides that. Um, so let's uh, let's see how this goes. Uh, we're in a turn-based battle, battle, and I definitely don't know how to play the game. So this will be interesting. Back. You need to learn the rules. All right. Move the cursor, cursor over a unit and press the K key. That's, that's a nice translation. Um, to display the unit's action menu, make full use of each. Okay. Um, okay, so we can move the hexagon. All right. Uh, command range. The area in which a rune knight leader is able to use their mana to give orders to their monsters. Okay, so the monsters have to stay within range. Terrain effect. The effect of a terrain has on a unit that can be used to give yourself advantage in combat. It's kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, okay, this is just telling me the different types of terrain. Got it. Cool. So many menus in this game. Can we, like, get to the actual playing part? Um, okay. Alright. Um, yep. I don't, I don't know any of this. Okay. Cool. Start with this monster. What? What's happening here? And nope. Why can I not figure out how to move these people? Sure, this time clicking it works. Cool, cool, cool. <clears throat> Go right there, yeah, sure. Why not? Okay, so this the way this game actually works is so like before this there was a setup phase where I actually got to decide who from what um what so basically you have a bunch of bases and you get to fill the bases with troops. And depending on what troops uh, are in what base, that determines where you can attack, who you can attack. So it's actually kind of like a, a, a previous um, turn-based thing that you have to set up before this. So uh, it's a little interesting. I didn't, I didn't expect this much uh, menus and like um, going into things. But we're here. We're going to give it a try. Um, so, okay. I will... Move you. Uh, there. Again. Don't know. I'm just moving all my troops forward. Like, we gotta go claim the castle. So, might be the wrong thing to do, but we're gonna, we're gonna, we gonna learn today. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Oh. oh, I only get a certain number of actions. Okay. Oh no, okay. So did I just happen to move all her troops? Is that why I couldn't okay? move these guys? Oh, because they're a different commander. Interesting, okay, okay. Kinda getting it now. I think it's hilarious that I have a unicorn leading the charge. <coughs> oh, excuse me guys. Mm. Probably sound real good. Apologies for that. Water here. Todo <laughs> 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 <la
What, what can I add to? Uh, more menus. <coughs> Excuse me, Jesus. Oh my lord, I apologize for that. Uh, skills and spells. Units can use skills and spells during battle. From the action menu, select a skill or spell. Okay. Great. Yep, status effects. Debuffs, yep. It's an RPG. For sure. Uh, I don't need any of these right now. So, I guess we'll just move. Back to this, huh? I'm not a I'm not usually a PC player. This is um not my not my wheelhouse. I'm not using a mouse and keyboard. So bear with me. I'm trying my hardest here. Okay. I'm gonna just keep moving everyone forward. Because I want them to be next to each other for combat. So let me just Hold on a second, guys. I got caught. Okay. You okay? Cough never came, but we're uh, moving. And what? I just moved you. I'm so bad using a mouse and keyboard. This is like actually struggle city. I'm also not used to live streaming games. This isn't something we normally do on the channel. We've done it a few times, but like. Oh, battle rules! Uh, zone of control. A unit's zone of control consists of the six hexagon around them. This area affects the unit's mobility. You cannot move through an enemy unit's six hex zone of control. This allows. Hmm. Okay. Uh, this effect activated. Okay. Shinbatsu. Oh, so this gets to come mess up my. More troops. I ain't scared. Oh, and we counterattack. We good. We good. And I can heal, I think. Um, magic. Okay, I can heal one person. I feel my unicorn. Dope. Always love when games give experience for healing. That's always a good good thing in an RPG. I do like the art style of this game. I think it's very pretty. Um, I will say, I'm not a fan of the menus, but it is what it is. Uh, so let's look at this guy. And we missed. Dope. <laughs> Unicorn, you've been nothing but a disappointment to me. I want you to know this. Alright, these guys are clearly better. Um, I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. Oh, we can we can get out. Alright. We gon' we gon' hide. Uh, can can I move him there? He seems like a big boy. He can probably take some hits. Oh, that's my guy. Alright. We're so weak. These battles are going to take forever. What is this? Magasana. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing something. Okay, yeah, sure. We just gonna hold up. Skill, what can I do from here? Nothing. Well, I hurt my own guy? Aw, oh, man. 
this is uh, not going how I expected it to. All right, all right, good. That's a good one. That's a good hit. I think I might need to turn the audio down. Yeah, that's the same. Yeah, get him, unicorn. You're really. Oh my god, level up. You don't get your health back when you're. Well, I mean, you level up. Yeah, you're dead. Rest in peace, unicorn. Thank you for, uh, for the army. I imagine most of us will be joining you very soon. soccer tonight so I probably won't be streaming super long um, but we, uh, we're gonna try we're gonna try to win I don't think it's gonna happen looking at uh looking at what we're facing over here um, seems like the odds are stacked against like, why is he got so much health? Oh my god. Great. But you're gonna die next turn. What does it matter? Oh, we gonna get out. Alright. Alright. Um, I wish I had a mage that could heal multiple people. I might have picked a fight with some. Oh, great. I might have picked a fight with a, an army that I can't. I can't beat. That might just be what's happening. Cause it's all they all say like B and A, and I I got A. I don't have A and B. I might have. Okay. Okay. Um. Just look at these guys. Great. Oh, you're gonna explain level ups to me. Great. Yeah. Status effects. I got it. I've played a game before, thank you. Um, nope. Don't want to do that. We're gonna try that. Cool. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Alright, that's what I'm looking for right there. We need more of that. Jesus. Leader, so we need to focus him. But also, he's just kicking the crap out of everyone. <laughs> Tom in the chat. New phone, who dis? Is this turn based? <laughs> yes, it's very much turn based. Not only is it turn based, it's, um, it's turn based within turn based. So you actually have a planning stage before this. So if you don't like turn base, definitely not the game for you. Uh, where can I move him? Can I move him over there? Yes. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, and then I can only do Dragon Fury. Okay. I want to do my acid thing and shoot at all these people, but... Alright, more fire emblem like that, so I respect it. Um, it is and it isn't. It is and it isn't. It's, uh, I, I'm not, I'm not overly thrilled. Oh, we got two level ups for one kill, though. The grid I like. The grid, this is, this is better than what I was doing. It's, uh, just taking a little, a little while, though. Alright, let's go. I should I go kill the mage? Super. Let's go, sugar. Um, I'd like to move there. Oh, I can't do any skills. Dope. Alright. You're gonna move. So many menu clicks. Woo! Leveled up. Good job. 
Yep. Heal. Yep. There we go. Saw that coming. You need to survive. Cause you're, the only, you're the only one that can hurt people. So please don't die. You okay? We just, we're just gonna smash it. Let's go. Bro, if you die, I'm gonna be so mad. You don't even understand. Useless. That's a breath, and everyone has moved. Alright, we uh, might have a chance. Probably not, but. Thanks for stopping by, Tom. I, uh, I'm only gonna be streaming this a little bit because I got soccer in a little bit, but I wanted to try the game out I have wisdom tea surgery coming up. So this is really my only chance to actually try this game Rest in peace, I imagine he's going to die very soon There you go Come on, looks like a Kevin game. Oh, uh, you'd think that. You'd think that. My my first impressions haven't been great so far. Uh, I think it's it's too many menus, a lot of cumbersome stuff going on here. I need to heal. You. That did almost nothing. Yeah, get the squid. Live, look. Just gonna, just gonna back up. Um, you need to move over here. Start beating this woman up. How you like that? Not as good as Fire Emblem. It certainly isn't, Tay. Certainly isn't as good as Fire Emblem. But, um, it's got some promise. Like, I, I really like the art style. I just don't think... I think it has some glaring faults in the opening, uh, I don't know, 40 minutes that I played this game. I just gotta kill this mage, though. Otherwise, she's gonna keep healing everyone. You can't have that. So the thing in this game, you can like have generals and they can summon monsters, which I think is cool. Um, please don't kill him. Please don't kill him. Thank you. I need him. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't kill him. Please don't kill him. That's fine. You can heal. You need to come over and, and start healing some people. Uh, nope. Uh, Alright, where can I... Oh, Lord. Alright, well, I guess that's, uh... That's what we're doing, huh? Console Kato. Honestly, this looks more intriguing to me than Triangle Strategy was. Oh, well, Kato, first of all, thank you for stopping by. Uh, appreciate it, but I didn't... I, I would definitely say I like Triangle Strategy more than I'm enjoying this game, but I do like the art style. There's some... Uh, there's like eight different characters to choose from with stories in this, so... It's, uh, I think it's on Switch too. I think, I don't know if this is on Xbox or PlayStation, but I'm pretty sure this is on Steam or Switch. So if you wanted to, you could play it, I'm pretty sure. Um, have you heard of Idle Angels? No, I haven't, Tay. What's, uh, what's Idle Angels about? Give me the, give me the synapses. While I proceed to kill all my troops. 
We, uh, we piecing out. We, we can't win this. Oh, please, please don't murder my mage. I need, I need them. Okay. I mean, I'm gonna retreat completely after this. Then you guys will get to see, like, the overworld area. Retreat. We're going back to our roots. Apologies for the inconvenience. It's only in Japanese too, so if you if you can't get over reading, that might be a, a big thing. I don't believe there's English as far as I can tell. Yeah, I lost. Uh, I lost pretty convincingly. Um, that was our, our first battle, so off to a off to a poor start. What do you think of this idea? EA expands the Mass Effect franchise and they make turn-based games like this, kind of like Gears Tactics, focused on stories like First Contact War. I would love that, Tay. I would love to see uh, a Tactics Mass Effect game. Gears Tactics, I absolutely loved. I liked Gears Tactics more than Gears 5, if I'm being honest. Um, so I'm all for that, because I love the Mass Effect world and Mass Effect has way more stories to tell. So. I'd be down for that. Um, we're going into a... So I, I had told my troops to attack certain houses before we jumped into this. So now I have to deal with the uh, outcomes of that. So um, we're, we're going to deploy our troops. Because stand no chance if we don't. Uzaarake <laughs> Yes, yes, I understand. Mm. So, like, basically, this game is like it's it's about eight different areas, I believe, and they're all fighting against each other in a big war. And at the start of the game, you get to pick one of the like houses to lead into war. It's it's interesting. I like the I like that part of it, and I like the the art stuff, like I said. But um, I don't know. Combat's combat's kind of growing on me. Just have to actually win. Oh, I got another unicorn. As we all know, Unicorn is a. Uh, Your Microsoft Square Enix is available, Capcom is available, Sega is available. Who do you buy and why? Um, I, th I think that if you're asking me who do I buy, Tay, I buy Sega. Because you have a good working relationship with Sega already. It does address your need for family friendly games with Sonic. Um, it addresses a need for JRPGs with Yakuza, and uh, you have things like Shining Force, Fantasy Star. You have, I don't know, you, you just address the, you just address more needs. Now, if you get Square Enix, you basically just address the JRPG need. If you get Capcom, that's not really, I don't see why you need those. You already have a lot of games that Cap Capcom makes coming to your platform. I don't really think that moves the needle much for you. So for me, I think the I think the best option there is Sega. Now others might disagree with me. I am a little bit of a Sega fanboy, but it's what it is. So that's why I'm going, I'm going Sega out of those. Cool. What's my debon? Go right there. The f intro to the. This is like because they're not moving, so this is kind of like dumb to make me click all these through all these characters. I feel like Fire Emblem. At least the other 
people do something. That's a lot of troops. May have picked a fight. I can't win, guys. Alright, yeah. Come come down. Alright, cool, cool, cool. That actually worked out well. They got right in the like right I enough into range. That. Where are my troops? Light light swing, brave play, increases the attack defense. Hmm. Okay, so she can buff people. We just we just gonna go up, you know? How come my horse couldn't do it? My horse was weak as hell. Right, I think we definitely gotta take out their magic characters if we can. Move. Oh. Have I landlocked this guy? I don't think he can do anything. Amon says, I would buy Capcom because they have more valuable IPs such as Resident Evil, Street Fighter, Monster Hunter, Devil May Cry, which is very big in Japan, have wide appeal. Um, I'd rather have Sonic than all of those. That's where I'm at. You can hate the hedgehog all you want. Why do I want to, I, why would I want to attack my own team? Useless. I, am I like doing something wrong in this game? I feel like my troops aren't set up for success. Oh, oh, my unicorn can heal. Let's go. All right, unicorn, you're my healer this round. Let's go. Just what we need. More troops. Oh god. Okay. Alright. Well. Patricia's, Patricia's dead. Rest in peace, Patricia. I love Sonic, but the Hedgehog's new space is movies, not games. I'm on. It can be both. Sonic Frontier is going to come out and it's going to slap. I guarantee. I, I'm telling you right now, man. It's going to be good. I have full faith. <sighs> so, I don't think I can win this. Certainly. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna pull out now and save my uh, troops. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here. Uh, Tay says I'd go for Capcom. I think they're more valuable just because they have the franchise that can do very well in the West, but also Monster Hunter is huge. It's true. See, I mean, listen, I said it was. It's. Uh, see, I don't think Capcom though, but. You know, you guys are you guys are are different. That's fine. You we can we can disagree. Uh, I would like to win one of these games. Did I battle anyone else? Report. Yeah. Why is a child coming? Are people looking forward to Sonic? I think we need to see gameplay. Um, we do need to see gameplay, for sure. Um, but I, I... I think people are looking forward to it. I think because they kind of pose it as like a reintroduction, like a, a revamp. Kind of how Halo Infinite was supposed to be and like uh, God of War 2018, how, how it changes the formula. I think if they want a new direction for Sonic, so. 
それから前は狭間国と言われた国ね。あ、それはまあ、I we just tried to evade these people and they whooped us. They have very uh, Japanese designs. But also, man, I got fancy wrapped up, okay? I don't need Sonic. Nobody's even coming close to me. Y'all apparently don't know how games are gonna score. <laughs> Tay, look at all these half naked people. I was just saying, yeah, very Japanese designs. That's, that's my character. I chose I chose Eliza. Because she kind of reminds me of Edelgard from uh, Three Houses. Probably just the, the red and the her being like a princess. So much text. And like, I, I'm like, oh, hold H to speed it up, and then like it just skips it. Kate, another half naked woman. The Shinobi try. Or I really hope it will go through every single. Because it's like six more. Huh, I guess we are. Let's keep it going. That's because I wasn't there when you guys picked the drafts and so not fair. Bro, it's not my fault you weren't there. And you gave me a list of games to pick, alright? You got the games you wanted. Uh, am I going to get Xenoblade Chronicles 3 day one buy for me? Uh, I've actually never played a Xenoblade game. Um, so for me, no, I'm not going to get Xenoblade 3. It's it's not really a game that ever like appealed to me. Um, just from Smash, I find Shulk annoying, his voice. Um, but also, the games just seem a little cringy. I do like Pyra and Mithra's designs. Um, they seem kind of cool. I don't know. Maybe one day I will try the Xenoblade games. Um, but it's not on my radar right now. My my next games I'm looking to get for the Switch are uh, Mario Strikers and Fire Emblem uh, Warriors. Three hopes. I'll be playing. The, I'll be playing those a ton. Next next month is is stacked for stack uh, switch games. Bro, yes, okay, oh, okay, yep. Let's go to the next game then. Oh, everyone has such like crazy designs. Academy witchcraft. Using child spies. I want. I want to make that very clear. Using child spies. An evil spirit. The holy sovereign is patron of the Zai sect of the Rune faith. Where I feel like the game thinks we know way more about this, this game than we do. Like nobody knows this lore. Okay, 
All right. Yeah, here we go. These people look silly. They look like pirates. The United Islands of Morelva. They were pirates. <laughs> okay. Nailed it. Called it. Easy. そう、そう。エルザオ姉ちゃんが見れる。だから。ありがとう。今はただ我が方。賛成、賛成。賛成、賛成って何を生き物だおるんじゃい。そうね。我が国の軍旗では確かな方。You oh, have to go I do have to go very shortly. Uh, like I said, this is going to be a very short stream. I just wanted to try out the game, uh, show everyone what it was, um, which basically I did. It's, uh, it's a lot of turn-based tactics, which if you like that, which I do, then you might like this game if you can get past all this dialogue. And don't get me wrong, I love like a good story, but this is not... This is some dry stuff right now, I think. Oh, great. Sugar, you can die with the rest of my troops. Mana balance is the mana left after subtracting upkeep of all monsters from the income of bases. Yeah, so you have to use... You, you can summon monsters in your bases to defend them. Those are who I was fighting with. And then you have to... It takes mana, though, so... This is what I'm talking about, organization phase. So in between battles, you have an organization phase where you can, that's that's all the nations, but you can basically go to, let's, let's find one that has some people, like you can go into here, see what troops you have. Like right now, I only have one troop in here. Um, I have Rose. So then you can summon a monster and it'll tell you how much mana it costs. Um, I don't, I don't want to summon any of these because, well, I'll probably just lose. I'm very, like, I'm very con conflicted on what to actually do in this game. It's like, do I put everyone in? Like, I got three people here, and yet I still lost. So, I'm not, do I stack everyone in one location? There's four people down here now. But you can only attack, um... Uh, castles or, or uh, stations that are adjacent to yours and they have to have troops in them so like this guy's a sitting duck but that's basically the game guys um i'm not in love with it uh i think it's fine for the most part i'll save my game i would like i don't know i just i think i think the story and the amount of dialogue in between and some of the menus are actually like hurting the game, kind of bogging it down a little bit. This is literally about two hours in impressions, by the way. Like 40 minutes and then maybe add another hour and a half that I've played this game. I've, I've put very little into what is probably a 30 to 40 hour JRPG, which it has a lot of nuance and mechanics that I'm sure will even get explored, uh, elevated on and introduced that I haven't got to, but I don't know if I'm going to get there because the initial impressions for me are not great. Um, but if, if anyone does find this interesting, I it's on Steam, like I said, you can pick it up now, and I believe it came to Switch, and it might also be on PlayStation. Um, it's not on Xbox as far as I know. Maybe there's a port coming, but if not, those are your places you can get it. Again, I wanna thank the publisher and the dev for sending me this code for uh, review and coverage purposes. Uh, this was kind of a brief, I'm probably not gonna do a full in-depth review like I normally do. I did just wanna cover the game though. Uh, maybe it'll grab me, maybe I will do a, a review, but right now it doesn't seem that way. I did just wanna provide some coverage so everyone can check it out and see what's going on. But let me know you guys' thoughts. Um, if you're watching this after the fact, um, did you, K talks. Did I play Scarlet Nexus? Yeah, I did play Scarlet. I got the 100% Scarlet Nexus. I love Scarlet Nexus, man. So good. Fantastic game. So definitely check that out if you want. But uh, make sure if you're watching this to like the like the, the video, subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 400 subscribers. We're just a few away. So 
definitely appreciate anyone dropping a sub and i will see you guys next time we got video we got our video going up tomorrow for uh iodine chronicle rising my review of that and then obviously thursday is project x talk and xbox podcast and i'll probably touch on this game a little more there uh, after i put some more time into it but i gotta run i gotta go to soccer so